Hello everybody, this is Bram here. Today, I'm here with a 100% random prison mine, or mine, whatever you want to use a mine for. But this is 100% random, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. So yeah, I have the whole tutorial for you, but first thing I'm gonna do is show you how it works and then explain how it works. And yeah, and so right here what I'm standing on is what is randomized, and you you'll see how it works in a second, but... Yeah, before I start this video, please leave a like, and please subscribe, that helps me out a lot, and please share this with your friends so people can get help with command blocks, because I will be doing a lot more command block tutorials in the future. I think I've got some right now, but not, no, I don't think I, I, I know, <laughs> but still, please leave a like, and please subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Through some injuries, mentally and physically, studied them religiously, so I don't repeat history, and people don't admit to me. They don't want a victory, bad enough to get a C, they'd rather just go leave it be, and all this journey, I've been on since 13. Work okay guys, you just saw how that worked. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting, and I, I turned it off, I, I put that on always active so it just fired again. So d don't, don't, don't mind that, that's not a glitch, <laughs> that's a me, um, I messed up. But basically how that works is, these armor stands are all named the same thing. And it's taking blocks and putting them at a random armor stand in this spot right here. Which then, from this bedrock to this bedrock, is cloning this square as many times as it needs to. So I think it's 20 times just at a 5x5x1 five by five by area. And in turn, making this block. And then when this block is complete, this block is cloned to this one which this one will be the one you actually mine out of. And it says to, I, I, over here, the scoreboard, that is not needed. I just put that there so I can see the randomizer working in my head. So I can see that it worked. And I, I don't want to remove the scoreboard to get it away. So I, I, I'm leaving it there. So yeah. And the way this works is, um, actually, I'll just show you the commands. The first thing you're going to want to do is scoreboard objectives add and then I put this as the scoreboard. You can put it as mine or something, and then you want dummy. So you have that as the scoreboard. You can, if you're only having one mine like this, you can name it mine if you really want to. But you have to have that scoreboard. And then the first thing you want to do is put a repeating, unconditional, needs redstone, and zero tick delay. Or you can put this on five ticks if you want, but all these right here have to be on the same tick delay for it to work. So yeah, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is scoreboard, play, or no, 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 no. I lied to you. <laughs> the next thing you're going to want to do is, not that. I, I was messing around earlier. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Um, Scoreboard, players, add, or set if you really wanted to. I named it mine, so whatever you want the name to be. It can't be a player. It has to be a name. So I put mine. And then that, and then I put it at zero. So it sets the, the zero. And it just basically puts it on the scoreboard. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to put scoreboard players random, which gives you a random number to the mine scoreboard, then that thing. Uh, E-word mine 1 to 100. You can put that 1 to 1,000, however you want the percentages to work. Right now, I put 1 to 100, so it's an easy percentage. But if you're going to add, like, more specific mine stuff, you can go um, 1,000, which will do 100%, but point, whatever. It gives you an extra point or an extra number to work with for percentages. So, and I don't want to click E. I, I, I don't want to put E there. Okay. Then the next one you're going to want to do is, this is the module. I'm only going to show one strip. But the module you're going to want to do is the same. But you just got to change the numbers up. Right? He, I probably should do one of this. So right here, what you're going to want to do is scoreboard players test at the mine thing. The one you added in. And you're going to want to put it testing through 1 through 50. And then this one is one th 51 through 80. And then this one's 81 through 100. So basically 50%, 30%, 20%. Yes. So, that's how that would work. 
for that. And it, it, it works pretty good, and this is going to be the part that you're going to want to pay attention to. So what I have it is an execute at r type equals armor stand. And I named the armor stands E ward mine equals random. So that way um, it will choose a random armor stand that's over here when this is on top. And I'll get to that in a second. But when the armor stands are up there, it's going to choose a random armor stand to go to and place the block seven blocks this way. So this block is linked to this armor stand when it's there. So it's just seven blocks away. So it's basically like the armor stand randomizer, but you put it over to the right instead of two blocks underneath. And then you basically do all the numbers. The only thing you want to want to change per thing is this. You can change it to stone. Um, in this one, it's coal. And in this one, it's iron. And then the percentages are dealt back here. This is the thing. And what I always do to make it so it's, like, less, you know, materials is I put um, stone, another layer of stone, so, like, you couldn't get a thing of constant coal or constant iron. It's just to balance it out more, I should say. That's what that does. Okay, and then I, these are linked up to the base right here. So this is what I'm going to do. This whole squid, this whole thing is this. This is all it is. So what you do is you summon the armor stand, and after armor stand, you put the name that you want the armor stand to be. That this name right here is the name that you put in right here. So you want those to be the exact same. And what you do is you put this and put it on a square. Now, if you're on PC and mouse, or keyboard and mouse, or PC, you can literally control click it and you'd get what the it says. Now, for console and mobile, I feel bad because you're going to have to type that 25 different times. <laughs> or you can clone it. If you really wanted to clone it, you can. But whatever you want to do. So, yeah, and then the reason I put it so you summon that is so, like, if you have, like, five different mines, you're going to have 125 armor stands just sitting here doing nothing. So what it does is whenever the mines start to activate, then um, the armor stands will only be up and running when the mines are randomizing and stuff, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, in turn... Reduces lag on a server, which you don't want lag on a server, you know. And, yeah. And I did not mean to do that. Um, so what this does right here, this one, is it set blocks air here, so it, it, I don't have to put an extra command block over there. So what it does is just air here. This one, it fills the blocks underneath here. So you want the coordinates there, but it fills it with... Um, redstone blocks and then the one after it is chain con unconditional always active and on five ticks this one's on five ticks and that's just filling it with airs wait are these on any tick no these ones should be all zero okay but this one is five the one where you fill the underneath with air and then this one is basically setting an air so i don't have to do another one and then what it's going to do is it's going to kill all the armor stands named e ward mine r so it will kill all these armor stands, so it reduces the lag. It might cause a little bit of lag, like here. I'll show you right now. Just a little bit, maybe. I don't know how you want to do that, or how much it will, depending on how many you have. But it reduces the lag in the end, so. And then what it does is it... Ran yeah, I already know that. Okay. And this is the part that's the timer for this to work. And this bedrock strip, it's all the same. All you have to do is figure out the co coordinates of this and just clone it into the block right here, and then you would get it. So this one right here, it's a set block to destroy this. But this is the one where you set the time. It's just a set block for in front of that block or wherever you're going to put the redstone block to activate it.
And I put it on always active for now. It should be needs redstone. But I turned it off. The thing off. So it's it's impulse unconditional needs redstone. It's clearing that. But right here is where you put the time. Figure out how long you want it for the mine to reset. And put it there. That way. Um, so like. If I want it to reset every two minutes, I will put this. If I want to reset it every three minutes, I put this. If I four minute or one minute, here. Here. That one. <laughs> and four minutes is this one. And five minutes is this one. So yeah, I just put it at ten or five seconds just the, as demonstration purposes. But... That's the one you change the time at. If you want to look up how many ticks per how many minutes you want it to reset, then go ahead. So yeah. And then this one, it fills the redstone block here from this one to this one. So it activates it. And then this next one will put a redstone block in this spot right here to put the redstone blocks underneath and stuff. That's what that's for. And this one is my clone locations. So this one's clone. You're going to want to put the first one on 200. To, you'll see why in a second. So this location to this location is what mine is. And I put it to this location here, 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 and here. No, here and here. But that, that basically makes it, I should say. And that's what the clone does. It clones it after a few seconds, and somebody's online. It clones it after a few seconds and puts it into the mine section and um, gives you the box. But the first one's 200 ticks, is so if this can randomize from the last one of the last one, gives it time to randomize, and then it puts it in. And then it gives it each two seconds of randomizing, which is um, 40 ticks on. So this one's 200 ticks, and this one through this one is going to be 40 ticks. So that way it, you know, gives it time. And then this one, you're going to have one, this one clones the entire block that you randomize into wherever the mine's going to be. So, like, this is f surrounded in bedrock or whatever, however your mine's going to work, and that's what you mine. And then this one, basically, you give it one second before it clones it so it there's no errors at all. But that one's going to be chain unconditional, always active, just like all these other ones. And it's that. That's my clone. This one... Fills the um, this thing with air so it quits randomizing the scoreboard. And then this one's going to put a redstone block for the kill. And th yeah, so what that one's going to do, the put the redstone block here. And then the next one is going to say, oh, to the server, it's going to say, server, the mine reset. So... Everybody knows the mine reset, and yeah, and you want to put that one on conditional and always active. Same thing with this one. This one's conditional and always active, but yeah, you 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 can probably tell and pause the video when you need it to get what each one says. And then this last one, all it does is it places a redstone block right here to reset the system and make it. Um, work again, and I know mine's gonna be different. I just got a Snapchat, <laughs> but I know mine on my server. There's gonna be so many mines. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna have one defining how long it's gonna be, and then it's gonna activate one at a mine. That last one's gonna start another mine randomizing, and then another one. It's so on. So all these armor stands aren't spawned at once. So yeah, but guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope this guy's this tutorial really helped you because this is a pretty simple design. If you look at it from a long run, it's a pretty simple design. It just needs you need to 
look at it to understand it, and it's, it's pretty simple, though. If, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I hope you guys, this video helped you guys, and please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and if you really loved it, please subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, yeah, subscribe again. <laughs> and if you guys need tutorials, just comment them in the description below, and I will consider making them. I might have a plan making them, I don't know, but just give me ideas for tutorials and what you guys need, and I will produce them. But just give it time, you know, since online school and stuff. But yeah, just give it time. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope it really helped, and please like and subscribe. And this has been Bram, and I'm out!